Let's zoom into fat loss itself. What's actually happening inside a fat cell when you lose weight? Fat cells called adipocytes are essentially storage units packed with triglycerides, which are bundles of three fatty acids that are attached to a glycerol backbone. But those fat molecules don't just sit there statically. Your fat cells are in a constant state of flux, breaking down triglycerides into free fatty acids to send into circulation, and then reassembling and storing new ones that enter from the bloodstream. This is happening all of the time, even at rest. The only thing that determines whether your fat stores grow or they shrink is the net direction of that flux. Are more fatty acids entering the cell and getting re-esterified into triglycerides, or are more being broken down and exported. If you're in an energy balance, fat in equals fat out. Your total fat mass stays the same. If you're in an energy surplus, more fatty acids are coming in than going out, so fat accumulates. And if you're in a calorie deficit, more fatty acids are being released and used for energy than are being stored, so the fat cells are going to shrink. That's it. That's the actual mechanism. No mystery, no magic, just plain old biochemistry. Molecules don't disappear, they move and transform. And whether they're moving in or out of your fat cells depends on what the rest of your body is going to need and whether that need is being met through food or has to be pulled from storage.